Hello everyone and welcome to my complete Blu-ray collection video. This is going to probably take a bit to film, so uh, hopefully it won't be too long of a video. Uh, I also plan to probably film it in segments, given that I have a few free days to film this on. And uh, I also am lacking a few Blu-rays because they haven't come in the mail yet. So it's never going to be a complete Blu-ray collection, but it's complete as up to the start of March of 2020. Uh, and given I haven't done a complete Blu-ray collection in about three years, it is going to be a lot different. So, um, I've taken a view of different styles of how people have done their Blu-ray collection, uh, and I'm doing this all single-handedly from top to bottom in alphabetical order, so, uh, let's hope we can pull it off as best we can. Uh, some things to note. I have director slots, so some, something like David Lynch or... Um, Dario Argento or Wes Anderson are in those slots, so I will refer to those in their slots uh, as they go by alphabetical order that way. Secondly, you may notice I have Blu-rays like this, this being the Game of Thrones ones, that's because they usually live in the DVD section with the rest of the Game of Thrones ones. There are going to be some stacked like that because I'm yet to actually put them in their proper slot uh, in the shelf because I haven't rearranged since I bought a lot of these. Others are just kind of lying about because, you know, my parents will take them out, go watch them in the lounge room and not return them to their slot. You know, like someone who borrows a library book and just doesn't bother to return it. Yeah, uh, it's like that. And there are also, because I've got an upgrade, say, like, whether it be Criterion's or 4K's or something of a certain film, that film or maybe it's a TV show that I have one season in its slot, the rest of it will be behind, so there may be an older version of a Blu-ray, or there may be the rest of a TV show behind the slot. So, uh, hopefully I can dig that stuff out. Let's get on with the show. So, the big, to begin with, I will be talking about the very top of the shelf. Because as you can see, uh, we're quite far up. We've also got a step ladder to stand on. So, we'll start with a bright uh, summer day. Then we have Ad Astra. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, A Cure for Wellness. Uh, if you're confused as to why this is in A, it's because it starts with the letter A. Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai. The difference is because that's a V. V is a different kind of word. A Few Good Men. A Fish Called Wanda. Afterlife. I have no idea what that film is. Age of Adeline. Akira. Alien. The 4K, of course. The Alien Anthology, featuring the first four films. Prometheus. Alien Covenant in Steelcase. Alita, Battle Angel. Ooh. Amazon Women on the Moon. American Psycho. American Gods Season 1. American Horror Story Series 1. We also have Seasons uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5, all on Blu-ray. I don't like the rest of the show. Um, American Werewolf in London, the Deluxe Edition. Now we are up to the second box. We start with the accessories, so Annie Hall, the Darjeeling Limited, this is in the Wes Anderson collection, Fantastic Mr. Fox. I have uh, Moonrise Kingdom coming in the mail. Uh, then we go for what's in the shelf, of course, Anatomy of a Murder, Boogie Nights, this is the um, other Anderson collection, Punch Drunk Love, There Will Be Blood, Inherent Vice, Phantom Thread, Bottle Rocket, Rushmore, in Wes Anderson, of course, these are both Wes Andersons, Royal Tenenbaums, and Life Aquatic. Eventually I will get the Criterion for Bottle Rocket, but I don't really mind having the Criterion version, but as a uh, umbrella release. Grand Budapest Hotel, which I probably will also get the Criterion of. Isle of Dogs, in Slipcase. Annihilation, 4K. Anomalisa. Sorry about the glare, by the way, in reflection of the cases. I don't know why it's like that. I think light exists, and that's why. Uh, a Quiet Place. Apocalypse Now. This is the theatrical and redux. Apocalypse Now Final Cut on 4K. Arachnophobia, because it's a classic. Armageddon, because it's also a classic. So now we're up to the third box. This is more uh, Dario Argento and David Attenborough focused. Uh, I'll start with the excess that was behind. This is the 
Earth, Planet Earth 2 and Blue Planet 2 on Blu-ray. Uh, I only have them behind the rest of the shelf because I got the 4Ks of Planet Earth 2 and Blue Planet 2. Uh, ever accessories, we have Inferno, recently borrowed by a friend, have yet to put it back in the shelf properly. Dynasties, uh, just bought this recently, haven't gone around to watching it yet. Uh, Seven Worlds, One Planet, quite a nice doco. I have actually watched this, which is really cool. Then on the actual shelf, Bird of the Crystal Plumage. Now, of course, I do one of my director's collections. I usually try to put them in a release of, um, you know, film, because that just seems more appropriate. The Cat O' Nine Tales, Tenembrae, Deep Red, Suspiria, Phenomena, Argo, Room River View, A Scanner Darkly, The Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford, A Star Is Born, Atomic Blonde, The Blue Planet, Blue Planet 2, this is an alphabetical, Great Barrier Reef, Life, Life That Glows, Planet Earth, Planet Earth 2, I like David Attenborough. Now time for stack number four. Wow, we're really getting there, aren't we? Audition, The Bubba Duke. It's gonna get really awkward when these are really hard to slide out because some of these packages are really thickly combined. Bad Times at the El Royale, Barbarella, Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. Batman the animated series, the complete animated series in fact. Then uh, the, wow, okay, this is really, see like see what I tell you? Uh, Batman, the complete television show. I don't know why these aren't in order of release. I think they were initially, I just, when I redesigned the shelf, I didn't really get back to it. Um, and of course, the Batman v Superman steel case. Then we have Battle Royale. Uh, Battle Royale collection pack, which has all versions of each film, so you've got the two versions of the first film, directors and theatrical, as well as the second film. It's region A, that's why I have this, also because I like the steel case. Then we have uh, Mario Bava, where we've got Black Sunday, Black Sabbath, Blood and Black Lace, and in the next shelf, Kill Baby Kill. We're getting between lights now, because <laughs> there's one light over there, and one light over here, and I'm standing between them, so um. Apologies for shadows. Uh, in the next number fifth box, we have uh, as an excess because I only just recently got this the steel case of Better Call Saul season one, which is a fantastic show. Uh, of course, I already mentioned Kill Baby Kill. Then we have Beetlejuice in steel case, the Before trilogy from Criterion, Belle the Dewar, Ben Hur, Leon the Professional in my Besson collection, The Fifth Element. Lucy Valerian in 4K. Uh, then we have Better Call Saul Season 2 in Slipcase. Better Call Saul Season 3. And Better Call Saul Season 4. Better Watch Out. Beyond the Black Rainbow. The Big Lebowski. Black Christmas. Black K Clansman. And The Black Shield of Fulworth. Now we are up to slot number 6. Starting with Blade of the Immortal, another Takashi Miike film. Blade Runner, the final cut. Blade Runner 2049. I actually have the 4K in the Villeneuve collection as well. The Blair Witch Project and the Blair Witch Double Pack. Blazing Saddles. Then we have the Blob collection, which has the 1958 and 1988 versions. The Bloodthirsty Trilogy, featuring the Vampire Doll, Lake of Dracula, and Evil of Dracula. Body Melt. Bohemian Rhapsody, a film I despise. Bone Tomahawk. Bonnie and Clyde, Booksmart, a film I adore, The Book Thief, Braveheart, Brawl and Cell Block 99, Breakfast at Tiffany's, The Breakfast Club, Breaking Bad Season 1, Breaking Bad Season 2, okay, so this is where some of the TV shows still have extended slots because I'm yet to uh, put them further away. Uh, in excess we have Burning, a beautiful South Korean film, I am yet to put it on the shelf but I have watched it, uh, Brick. Um, Ryan Johnson's first feature. Um, in excess we have Cabin in the Woods because we had the Blu-ray before we got the 4K and then it looks like we have the Breaking Bad box set. I like to keep the box set sometimes just in case they have anything of value and by that I mean I can put them back on the shelf like the rest of these things. Uh, so of course then we continue with Breaking Bad Season 3, 
season four, season five, and season six, or season five part two, The Bride of Frankenstein, Bridge on the River Kwai, Broke Back Mountain, Mel Brooks Collection, which features 11 of his films, or nine of his films, that being 12 Chairs, Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, Silent Movie, High Anxiety, History of the World Part 1, To Be or Not To Be, Spaceballs, and Robin Hood Many Tights. The Burbs. The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, which is now 100 years old. The beautiful steel case of Cabin in the Woods, which is also a 4K remaster. The original Candyman. Cargo. Carnival of Souls. Dark Star, Assault on Precinct 13, Halloween in 4K, Escape New York, this is part of the John Carpenter collection. I do apologise if uh, you want to see the whole entire facing of each case, but um, it takes forever to put them in and put them out again, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, we'll move on to the next shelf very shortly, just because we have uh, these extra Blu-rays here. This is the Six Gothic Tales uh, box set, which comes with six films. The House, The Fall of the House of Usher, The Pit and the Pendulum, Tales of Terror, The Raven, The Haunted Palace, and Tomb of Ligeia. Next to it we have the House Collection, which of course features all four of the House films. And then we have the Chucky box set, which has all seven of the Chucky films, not including the remake of Child's Play. Uh, accessories that we have in terms of Blu-ray, we have the Grindhouse double feature of Planet Terror and Death Proof. The Dark Knight Trilogy in a landscape gift set, which I don't like the design of, but I have the 4Ks anyway. The now not complete saga of Star Wars. Well, that's the Braveheart box set, as we've already shown the Braveheart version, like Braveheart on Blu-ray, which comes with it on separate DVD, which is convenient. Uh, the Watchmen 4K and Blu-ray set. The Sound of Music Blu-ray set for its like 50th anniversary. We also have the complete adventures of Indiana Jones. This is all four of the films on Blu-ray, plus all of the Harry Potter films on Blu-ray and 4K. One final box set, we have the James Bond collection, which comes with all the James Bond films up until this point. This is before No Time to Die. Okay, now I don't have to be uh, standing on the uh, stool anymore because I'm tall enough to reach this part of the section. So we'll start with the excess. These are recent additions to the collection for John Carpenter. We have In the Mouth of Madness and we have Escape from LA. I know that that one's not as well regarded but I did get it for really really cheap. Uh, then we have The Fog in a big 4k Blu-ray box set. Escape New York in a 4k Blu-ray box set. The Thing Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. I know he didn't direct it, but uh, I consider it a John Carpenter film. Christine, Starman. Big Trouble in Little China with a really bad Photoshop of his face. Prince of Darkness. They Live, and another big 4K Blu-ray box set. Village of the Damned, a double pack of Vampires and Ghosts of Mars, and Halloween. I know he didn't direct that one, but he did produce it and did the soundtrack, and I think it is more appropriate to put it there. Next up we have, in the non John Carpenter, Cat People. Then we have its remake, Cat People. Now we're in the Jackie Chan collection, where we start with Drunken Master. These ones aren't all directed by him, but they all star him. Jackie Chan's Project A. Then we have Police Story. So again, these are in order of release. Jackie Chan's Project A Part 2. Police Story 2. The Armor of God. Drunken Legend of the Drunken Master. Uh, City Hunter in Slipcover. Operation Condor, Armor of God 2. And uh, this is uh, Police Story 4. Last but not least, in the Jackie Chan collection, we have The Foreigner. Uh, this is actually the Japanese version of um, the police story film, and then of course we have all the extra, we have all the extra boxes that come in it. But there you can see all them in the Eureka Cinema collection. In excess, we have Clear and Present Danger. Uh, then we have Children of Men, Chinatown, Chronicle Extended Edition, Cliffhanger, the 4K remaster but on Blu-ray, Climax in slipcase. A double pack of 10 Cloverfield Lane and Cloverfield, Colossal, The Color of Pomegranates, and Coming to America. Then we get to the next box where we have our excess, which includes Cube, recently bought this one for Dad, 
and Creepshow. Then we have Commando, Conair, Coraline, The Counselor, Extended Cut, The Cowboy Bebop TV Show, Cowboy Bebop the Movie, Cowboys vs. Aliens, Crawl, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Revenge of the Creature, Creed, Creed 2, The Croods, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Crow, or The Crow, Dagon, Dances with Wolves, the extended edition, and Dark Age. Next up we have Dark City, the director's cut, The Dark Crystal on 4K and Digibook, Darkest Hour, Dust Boot, Night of the Living Dead, the Criterion, uh, this is under my Dead collection, um, which will make sense in a moment, because of course we have Day of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead, the remake, and Dawn of the Dead, the remake. Then we have Dead Poet Society, Deadpool, Deadpool 2, the Super Duper Cup, Deadwood, Series 1, 2, and 3, yet to get the movie, as I'm yet to finish the show, The Deer Hunter, Drive in Delirium, 60s and 70s Savagery, Deliverance, Kronos, The Devil's Backbone, because we're now with Kronos in the Del Toro collection, where we have Blade 2, Hellboy the Collection, which obviously is Hellboy 1 and 2, The Golden Army, Pan's Labyrinth, Pacific Rim, Crimson Peak, and The Shape of Water. Then we go on to Demons, or Demoni. And then we start our Brian De Palma collection with Sisters, Phantom of the Paradise, Obsession, Carrie, my personal favourite of his, Dress to Kill, The Theory, Blowout, easily his best film, Scarface, and The Untouchables. Then we are followed by The Descent, Detective Pikachu, and Die Hard on 4K. We have, of course, the Die Hard collection on Blu-ray, featuring all four of the films, plus an extra bonus fan film. I've never really seen it. Uh, then we have The Dish, and then we start with Disney, with Aladdin, Alice in Wonderland, Brave, these are all in alphabetical order if you didn't realise. A Bug's Life, Coco, Emperor's New Groove, and Kronk's New Groove, Fantasia, Hocus Pocus, the only live action film I believe we have in this Disney collection, The Incredibles, Incredibles 2, Inside Out, the good version of The Lion King, Moana, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Pinocchio, and Ratatouille. And then we have Mysterio, and we move on to our next section. Now we're on to the third shelf where we will continue with our Disney collection. We have the Snow White uh, and the Seven Dwarves. This is actually the uh, Japanese version. Toy Story. Toy Story 2. Toy Story 3. Toy Story 4. That Was that dramatic enough for you? Uh, Up. And Wreck-It Ralph. Then we have our Excess, which is uh, Don John. And Doctor Sleep. We continue with Donnie Darko, Don't Breathe, Don't Look Now, the uh, Criterion Edition, The Doors, Dorian Gray, The Double, Downfall, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> Series 1, 2, and of course 3, I'm yet to collect the rest as I'm yet to wa finish watching them, uh, Dread. As we continue, we have The Dressmaker, Drive, The Abominable Dr. Fibes, Dr. Fibes Rises Again, Easy Driver, Edge of Tomorrow, oh, it's the 3D version, Ed Wood, Eight and a Half, El Dorado, Electric Boogaloo, and Machete Maidens, 11.22.63, Elysium, The Endless, Enemy Mine, The Exorcist, The Exorcist 3, Exterminating Angel, Face Off, and Fair Game. On the next shelf we have Fantastic Beasts, Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald, Fantastic Planet, Fargo, Fast and Furious 8 Movie Collection, Fatal Attraction, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, F for Fake, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fight Club, the Final Destination 5 Film Collection, Firefly, First Man, The Florida Project, 
the fly, flying high, aka aeroplane, forbidden zone, and Freddy vs. Jason. Got excess of Game of Thrones season five, season seven, and season six. We do have season three and four on Blu-ray, as but they're presently on loan with uh, some friends. And of course, we have season one and two on DVD. Uh, then, of course, we have Friday the 13th, the 8th film collection, Fright Night, From Beyond, Theory, Game Night, The General, Get Out, Ghost in the Shell 1 and 2, Ghost Stories, Ghost Wild, Girl Asleep, Girl Who Leapt Through Time, Gladiator, Godfather Trilogy, the Omerta edition, Godzilla from 2014, Godzilla 2, King of the Monsters, Who Wants to Have a Good Time? A recent addition to the shelf that I'm yet to actually put in its slot. I have yet to decide whether I'm going to put it in as Forever or in Marilyn. This is the Forever Marilyn box set, which includes eight of her films, uh, such as Niagara, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, How to Marry a Millionaire, River of No Return, Bus Stop, The Seven Year Itch, Some Like It Hot, and There's No Business Like Show Business. Uh, continuing on in our next slot, we have Good Omens. The Goonies, The Graduate, Gravity, Grease and its horrible cover design, The Greasy Strangler and its weird cover design, Great Expectations, Green Room, The Green Mile, Gremlins, so shiny, Gremlins 2, I Am Love, A Bigger Splash, these are the uh, Luca Guadagnino collections by the way with I Am Love and Bigger Splash and Call Me By Your Name and Suspiria. Then there is The Guest, The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Society, Hacksaw Ridge, The Handmaid's Tale Season 1. Then we have The Handmaid's Tale Season 2, Hannibal, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, Happy Death Day, Happy Death Day to You, The Happiness of the Katakuris, uh, three Bray Harryhausen films, um, I don't, I think it's under Harryhausen, so, of course, you've got It Came From Beneath the Sea, Earth vs. the Flying Saucers, and The Three Worlds of Gulliver. Then there's The Haunting, Heat, Heathers, Heaven Knows What, Hellraiser, Her, Hereditary, The Werner Herzog Collection, which features 18 of his films, and The Hells Have Eyes. The collected works of Hayao Miyazaki which, of course, includes such works as Lupin III, The Castle of Cag Cagliostro, Nausicaa and the Valley of the Wind, uh, Laputa, Castle in the Sky, My Neighbor Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service, Pocoroso, Princess Mononoke, Spirit of the Way, House Moving Castle, Ponyo, and The Wind Rises. Okay, this is the fourth row of Blu-rays. So starting from the excess, we have The Host, the Bong Joon-ho film. Then we have Hidden Figures, Hitchcock, Hitchcock Truffaut, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, The Hobbit, The Battle of Five Armies, Hausu, The Howling, The Howling Free, The Marsupials, The How to Train Your Dragon Trilogy, Hulk, this is the Hunger Games on DVD, what the hell? Actually, I think this is a combo pack, Blu-ray and DVD, yeah. Catching Fire, wow, look at that lenticular, so lenticular. Mockingjay Part 1, and Mockingjay Part 2. Then we have Hunt for Red October, Ice Cold in Alex, The Imitation Game, In Bruges, and The Incredible Shrinking Man. In Excess, we have Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the original, and It Chapter 2 on Steelbook. Then we have In Search of Darkness, the documentary I funded. Inside Lewin Davis, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the uh, 70s version, or maybe it's the 80s one. It's not a Donald Sutherland. The Invisible Man, Ip Man, Iron Monkey, Iron Sky, The Island, It, the miniseries, It Chapter 1, The Italian Job, It Comes at Night, It Follows. It's a mad, 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 mad world. The extended and theatrical cuts. It's a Wonderful Life. There's a lot of it's, okay? Jack Reacher. Jane Eyre. Though it's still in plastic, it is actually open. And it's a slipcase. Jason and the Argonauts. Jean Dillman. 
23 Quai de Commerce 1080 Brussels. My 500 film of 2019, by the way. In the next box, we have no backward excess, but we have some forward ones. We've got Jumper, the original King Kong. This is recently watched by my dad, so it hasn't been put back in its slot yet. And the 2005 King Kong, which we have had the DVD, but I only recently got the 4K. Then we have Jodorowsky, so we've got El Topo and or El Topo and the Holy Mountain. Then we have John Carter, which probably should be in Disney, but you know. John dies at the end. John Wick. John Wick Chapter 2. John Wick Chapter 3. Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. Jurassic Park, the Ultimate Trilogy, which I would put in my Spielberg collection, but I, I guess we're not going to. Jurassic World, which I put in the bin, but I guess we're not going to. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Kingsman, The Secret Service. Kingsman, The Golden Circle. King Kong Escapes. Kong Skull Island. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And Krampus. Next slot we have... Oh, here we go. Terrence Malick, come on, you can do it. Okay, we have The Knight of Cups. Then we've got Stanley Kubrick Collection with Fear and Desire. The Killing. Paths of Glory. Spartacus, Lolita, Dr. Strangelove, Barry Lyndon, 2001, A Clockwork Orange, Full Metal Jackets, The Shining, Eyes Wide Shut, and that's it for Kubrick. Then we have Kurosawa with Rashomon, another Criterion, The Seven Samurai, Throne of Blood, Yojimbo and Sanjiro, Ran, with our final Kurosawa with Dreams. Then we have Labyrinth, Ladies in Black, Lady Bird, Lady Snowblood 1 and 2, La La Land, The Land That Time Forgot, The Lobster in my um, Yorgos Lanthimos collection, that is also with The Killing of a Sacred Deer, and The Favourite. Then we have Last Action Hero. Last Cab to Darwin. I like collecting Australian films. Last Man on Earth. Last of the Mohicans. Lawrence of Arabia. Laser Team. A League of Their Own. Then we have The Leftovers Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3. Then we have In Excess, Little Monsters. I'm yet to put this on the shelf. Legion Season 1. They are yet to release season 2 and 3 on Blu-ray, which sucks. Uh, the Lego Movie. The Lego Movie, the second part. The Lego Batman Movie. And now in my Leone collection, we have A Fistful of Dollars. For a few dollars more. The Good, the Bad and the Ugly. And Once Upon a Time in the West. We also have the Lethal Weapon from 1 to 4 collection. Life After Beth. Life Force, Little Shop of Horrors, Directors and Theatrical Cuts, The Lives of Others, The Long Kiss Goodnight, The Lone Ranger, Looper, Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and then we have the Twin Peaks from Z to A box set, which features all of Twin Peaks seasons 1 through to 3, as well as the film for uh, Firewalk with Me. On shelf number five, we start with uh, The Lost Boys in Excess, Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, the theatrical cut, uh, Lost in Space, then my David Lynch collection with a razor head to begin it, The Elephant Man, which I'm yet to get the 4K version, come in the mail soon, and by soon I mean in like a month's time. Anyway, Dune. Blue Velvet, which I hope to get the criterion of at some stage. Twin Peaks, The Entire Mystery. Well, not quite. <laughs> uh, Twin Peaks, The Limited Event Series. Wild at Heart. Lost Highway. Mulholland Drive, which I'd also love to get the criterion of. Inland Empire. And The Art Life. Then we have Machete. Mad Max. Mad Max The Road Warrior, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, and Mad Max Fury Road. Mandy, the man from Hong Kong, the man from Uncle, the man who fell to Earth, the Martian. Then we have the Marvel Collection, where we have Avengers, 
we have, what is it, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Thor, and Captain America, First Avenger, all on DVD, in a Marvel Cinematic Pack in the DVD collection over there. So then, of course, we have Iron Man 3, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, because in chronology they st still fit right next to each other, Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Captain America, The Civil War, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Avengers Endgame, Spider-Man Far From Home. We continue with Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World, Matinee, Mean Girls, Men in Black, Mermaid, Fritz Lang's M, Metropolis, Midnight Cowboy, Midnight Special, Midsummer, Minions, The Mission, Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible 2, Mission Impossible 3, Mission Impossible 4, Ghost Protocol, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, and Mission Impossible Fallout. Uh, in excess, we have Mother, another Bong Joon-ho film. I'm yet to put on the shelf properly. I might make a Bong Joon-ho collection, but I've only got three of these films. Money Monster. Moon. Moonlight. Mother. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mr. Robot Season 1, 2, and 3, awaiting Season 4's release. The Mummy, Tomb of the Emperor, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. The Mule. The Naked Gun, The Naked Gun 2.5, The Naked Gun 33 and a third, The Neon Demon, Network, Never Let Me Go, Next of Kin, The Nice Guys, and Nightcrawler. Then we have Night of the Creeps, The Nightmare on Elm Street Collection, Nocturnal Animals, 1984, No Country for Old Men, and then in the Christopher Nolan Collection we have Memento, Prestige, Batman Begins, the Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, Inception, Interstellar, Dunkirk, then we have Not Quite Hollywood, Old Boy, The Omega Man, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, One Million Years BC, and Only God Forgives. We have excess of Parasite, I'm yet to find a slot for it, Overlord, Paddington, and Paddington 2, Paprika, Paranormal Activity, in Steelcase, no wonder, Paris, Texas, Passengers, The Passion of Joan of Arc, Patterson, The Patriot, Patriot Games, Paul, Peppermint, Perfect Blue, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, Phantasm, The Philadelphia Story, and the big whopper that is Picnic at Hanging Rock. Now we are on Blu-ray shelf number six, uh, with excess, we have anything behind it, just the box for the Predator collection, so with excess of new films we have Pumpkinhead, and we have The Producers. Oh, I'm so low to the floor, I have to crouch, it's so weird. Uh, then we have Pink, The Truth About Love Live from Melbourne Tour, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranded Tides, Planet of the Apes, the um, Tim Burton one, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Pompoko, Psycho 2, Psycho 3, Psycho 4, Predator on Blu-ray, Predator on 4K, Predator 2, Predators, Predestination, Priscilla Queen of the Desert, Q, The Quiet Earth, The Evil Dead, the beginning of my Sam Raimi collection. Evil Dead 2. I wish I had the 4K instead, but I have the 4K remaster, which is really good enough, honestly. It still looks incredible. Continuing the Sam Raimi collection, we have Army of Darkness. This is the um, Blu-ray of Definitive Collection uh, of it. We have the Blu-ray of the Director's Cut and the Theatrical Cut, as well as the DVD of both, and the TV Cut. We've got Darkman, the Spider-Man Trilogy, Drag Me to Hell, Evil Dead, I know he didn't direct it, but still. Ash vs. Evil Dead, again, he directed one episode, but still. Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2, which he didn't direct anything, and Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3. Then we have The Raid 1 and 2. On excess, we have Ready or Not. Then we have the Rambo Quadrilogy, Raw, Razorback, Reanimator, 
Bride of Reanimator, Rear Window, Red Dragon, Requiem for a Dream, The Revenant, Rick and Morty Season 1, Rick and Morty Season 2, Ringu, The Ring, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Robocop, The Rock, Rocket Man, The Rocky Series, not including, of course, Creed 1 2 as they're above, Roger Rabbit, Ronan, Rosemary's Baby, Run Lola Run, Ruby Volume 4, Safety Not Guaranteed, Samurai Jack, the fifth season, I have series 1, 2, 4 on DVD, Saturday Night Fever, Scanners, oh, we're starting to get more into directors again, um, actually we're completely in Scorsese now, so I guess we'll start with the excess, of course, uh, we have Shutter Island on 4K, then we have Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, King of Comedy on Steel Case, uh, Goodfellas, Casino, The Departed, Hugo, The Wolf of Wall Street, and Silence. Uh, then we have the Scream 4 set film, uh, Searching, Secret Life of Walter Mitty, Serenity, Seven Psychopaths, The Seventh Seal, Shadow, The Shawshank Redemption, Shazam, 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 Shazam. On excess we have Sleepaway Camp. Then we have Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, Shin Godzilla, The Sixth Sense, because now we're in our Shyamalan collection, Unbreakable, Split, The Happening, I don't know why Split is first, uh, The Happening, but yeah, Split should be after The Happening. Then we're in Sicario, Day of the Soldado, not uh, as great a film as I would have hoped, Silence of the Lambs, Silent Running, Simple Favor, Sinbad, The Seventh Voyage. The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, Sin City, Sin City, A Dame to Kill For, very rare they get the red version which is nice, The Sisters Brothers, Sleeper, Sling Blade, Snoopy and Charlie Brown, The Peanuts Movie, Society, Solaris, Sons of Anarchy Season 1, Spaceballs, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Jaws, because now we're in the Spielberg collection, Close Encounters, E.T., Empire of the Sun, Schindler's List, Saving Private Ryan, Minority Report, The Adventures of Tintin, Bridge of Spies, and Ready Player One. Spirits of the Air, Gremlins of the Clouds, The Spy Who Dumped Me, Stalker, Stargate, Starship Troopers, Star Trek The Next Generation Season 1, Star Trek the first movie, Star Trek Into Darkness, Star Trek Beyond, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Star Wars The Last Jedi, Rogue One, Solo A Star Wars Story, The Stuff, We, Sucker Punch A Guilty Pleasure, Suicide Squad, my least favourite film of all time, that's why I own it, Super 8, Sunshine, Sunset Boulevard, Superman The Movie, Superman 2 The Richard Donner Cut, Swamp Thing, Swinging Safari, still in its plastic, um, yeah. Swiss Army Man, one of my favourite films. Okay, now we're up to the bottom shelf, which is going to be tricky as hell to film, so I'm going to have to get in my arms and legs for this. Alright, so we've got no excess on the back, which is good. So let's get it started. We've got The Sword and the Claw, Tag, Taken 2, The Talented Mr. Ripley, A Tale of Two Sisters, Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight, Tales of Halloween, Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs, Pop Fiction, Jackie Brown, Kill Bill Volume 1, Kill Bill Volume 2, Death Proof, Inglorious Bastards, Django Unchained, The Hateful Eight, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The Terminator, Terminator 2, Judgment Day in 4K. On the next shelf we have some excess, we've got the Thief of Baghdad, uh, then we have the uh, 4K steel case, which I recently got of Terminator Dark Fate. Don't care much for the film, but the steel case is pretty cool. Terminator Salvation, the director's cut. Terminator <laughs> The Chain Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Things to Come. This Island to Earth. The Third Man. Free Billboards Outside Ebby, Missouri. The Free Musketeers. The Time Traveler's Wife. Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy. Tokyo Godfathers. Tombstone. Top Gun. Tomorrowland. Top of the Lake. Total Recall. The Tourist, Tourist Trap, Tower Heist. On the next square we have, on excess, Trick R Treat, 
Then we have the Toxic Avenger, Transporting, Transubasam, King for the sequel, Transcendence, Transformers the Movie, Shock and Awe, which features five uh, Lance Von Trier films, Breaking the Waves, Antichrist, Melancholia, Nymphomaniac, Volume 1 and Volume 2, The Tree of Life, Tremors, Troll Complete Collection, Tron, the classic, original, Tropic Thunder, The True Man Show, Tully, Turbo Kid, 12 Angry Men, 12 Monkeys, 28 Days and 28 Weeks Later, Two Hands. Alright, I've brought out the excess, so I'll get to that in a second. But of course we have uh, Under the Skin, The Uninvited, Unsane, Upgrade, Us, Valkyrie, the Vengeance Trilogy, which has sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, Old Boy and Lady Vengeance, Venom, 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 um, V for Vendetta, Videodrome, we've got Viking Season 1, then in excess we've got Season 2, Season 3 and Slipcase, Season 4 and Slipcase, Season 5 and Slipcase, Season 6 and Slipcase, well it's actually Season 5, Volume 1. Um, and Season 5, Volume 2. I'm yet to watch the final season. But that's Vikings. The original Village of the Damned. The Villainess. Then I get into my Denis Villeneuve collection with Enemy. Prisoners. Sicario. Arrival. Blade Runner 2049. Kane for Dune. Then we've got The Virgin Suicides. Then we get into the Wachowski collection. We start with Bound. Then we've got The Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, and Matrix Revolutions, Speed Racer, Cloud Atlas, and Jupiter Ascending. Then we have the Taika Waititi collection with Boy, What We Do in the Shadows, and Hunt for the Water People, because of course, Thor Ragnarok is a Marvel film. Waking Fright, Wallace and Grom's collection, Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story, Walk at the Line, Wanted, War and Peace, the seven hour film, Whiplash, White of the Eye, The Wicker Man, The Final Cut, Widows, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, uh, Free Westerns which are The Searchers, Wild Bunch and How the West Was Won, all of them being, I believe they're all John Wayne films, uh, probably not but still, I think they're under W for Wayne, or Western, probably Western, then there's Westworld, the movie, Westworld Season 1, The Maze, Wings, the Vavitch, The Witchfinder General, The Wizard of Oz, Wonder Woman, World War Z, or World War Z. Then we've got Edgar Wright with Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, The World's End, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and Baby Driver. Then we have the X-Men Cerebro Collection, which features... X-Men, X-Men 2, X-Men The Last Stand, X-Men Origins Wolverine, X-Men First Class, The Wolverine, X-Men Days of Future Past. Uh, we have Days of Future Past, The Rogue Cut. We also have The Wolverine as well on Excess. Oh, I think we've got two Excess Blu-rays. Oh, yes. Um, we've got The Wolverine on Excess and Apocalypse, because I put uh, the Apocalypse one in the actual box set, given that we already had uh, Days of Future Past, a better version right here. With the extended cup. Then we have, why are they stuck together? Logan on 4K. Triple X Return of the Cage. Yesterday. Yee Yee. You Were Never Really Here. Your Name. Zombieland. Zombieland 2. Two from Hell, the Rob Zombie collection with House of a Thousand Corpses and the Devil's Rejects. And last but not least, The Lords of Salem under my Rob Zombie collection. Let's not forget here our Doctor Who collection. What what do we have here? It's the Doctor Who The Specials Steel Case. Got this especially for my younger brother for his I think it was Christmas. Yeah. Comes with uh, all the episodes, the special episodes with David Tennant. So the next Doctor, the Planet of the Dead, Waters of Mars, End of Time Part 1 and Part 2. Plus, it has Dreamland and the Infinite Quest, and some uh, Sarah Jane Smith. Whole bunch of bonus stuff. Voila.
And that's our very special Doctor Who still case. And that's the whole collect... Hold on a sec. Wait. Forgot. Forgot one. Right. Sorry, for you. forgot about you. Then, of course, lucky last, Godzilla, which includes 15 additional films, I believe. Um, yeah, 15. Godzilla, Godzilla Raids Again, King Kong vs. Godzilla, Mothra vs. Godzilla, Ghidorah the Reheaded Monster, Invasion of the Astro Monster, Ibiru Horror of the Deep, Son of Godzilla, Destroy All Monsters, Attack All Monsters, Godzilla vs. Hodora, Godzilla vs. Gigan, Godzilla vs. Megalon, Godzilla vs. Mega, uh, Mega Godzilla, Terror of Mega Godzilla. <sighs> All right, that's that's the whole collection, and now I've really messed up the uh, look of my shelf. So that's that's great. That's just what I wanted. Um, <laughs> excellent. Well, um, this is a mess. So eventually, I'll get around to cleaning it up. I might even push some TV shows back again, like. Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Outside of that, thank you so much for watching. If you stayed tuned to the very end, this is all of the present Blu-rays I have. Um, if you want to know the ones I additionally have coming in the mail, which I might do a series, but I probably won't do a series of what movies have I bought this year. I wanted to, but then I, um, I, I'm not getting paid as much as I do nowadays, so I'm probably not going to do that. Um, Delivery is coming in. So uh, outside of, of course... Moonrise Kingdom for the Wes Anderson collection, which is a week and a half late, so that's a, its own problem. We have Roma coming through with the uh, Blu-ray from, from Criterion. We've got the Knives Out Steel case coming in the mail. We've got the Elephant Man 40th Anniversary 4K coming in. The North by Northwest Blu-ray. Uh, Tootsie from Criterion and Tampopo from Criterion, as well as the Jump Street collection of 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street. And last but not least, the uh, Hitchcock Masterpiece Collection, which is the 14 movie box set, uh, which I might do its own video for, because it's a pretty cool looking box set, and I can't wait for it to come in the mail. So those are the additional films. I do have a, a, a grouping of Blu-rays over in the corner there. I'm not going to mention them because I don't consider them part of the shelf, because uh, I plan to get rid of them. Um... I plan to sell them off at some stage, and a lot of them are like older versions that I have on here that I've gotten like 4K remasters of, or Criterions of, or just better editions of, or their films I really just don't like, and I'm like, okay, well, I bought them in the first place, I want to get rid of them. So, yeah, uh, outside of that, thank you so much for watching, feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more. Um, we have... A whole bunch more in the film collection playlist which will be up here eventually as well as the subscribe button that's a cool thing uh we've got as much as i've just showed off every single one of my films there are collection videos which showcase more in depth what some of these films and blu-rays have to offer in that case like the criterion one which there is a two-parter of including the godzilla unboxing there's arrow video there's my 4k collection there's my shout factory slash scream factory collection there is a lot of collections, okay? There's a lot. Um, I might do another uh, favorite films of all time video at some stage, but for now I've already got one on the playlist, and even though nobody really watched it, uh, it's still pretty relevant. Um, I might do an updated version of it because I've kind of changed around some of the films. Either way, I don't know yet, and I still plan to do my... Um, film book collection video, so whether that's come out by now or whether it comes out after this, that video displays all of the books I have to do with films or filmmakers like my Wes Anderson book, my Tarantino book, my, Dar my David Lynch books. Uh, so yeah, so stay tuned for that or check it out in the, the playlist or description or however it be. Outside of that, we are open for 24 hours and we'll see you next time. This is a pizza ad. I'm not even joking. It's like, it's literally... It's an ad for a pizza shop. Cool. Thanks for watching. Adios.